All right, so we are heading out from Isle of Palms, South Carolina, after an amazing weekend of hanging out with some really good friends. And where are we heading? We're headed to Williamsburg, Virginia. And you might be wondering, what are you gonna do there? There is a lot of history, but we're headed for one specific attraction. All right, road trip commenced. Let's go. up some Panera because I was really craving a salad because road tripping. Whose music is that? It's not ours. <laughs> I wonder if you can hear that in the microphone. <laughs> Anyways, so we got Panera for healthy eating and Andrew ordered chili. I can't wait to see him eat this on the highway. It's all over me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have just arrived at President's Park. It's where 43 heads are sitting in a field and it looks more like it's they're from a post-apocalyptic movie. So it's pretty crazy looking. Let's go check it out. Okay, so these are like 20 foot heads. Like it's not just, oh, there's a couple of President heads in a yard. It is like, no joke, 20 foot heads. Crazy. We'll learn a little bit more about how they got there and all that good stuff but it's actually really busy. There's like a ton of people here. I did not think it was gonna be like that. Oh, sorry, I didn't see it. I, uh, different row. I, was, yeah. I was looking at the different row. Sorry about that. So, I guess it's like, do you remember how deep he said it was? Uh, no, but set up maybe to your knees. Like, in a mud. And yep. so all I had were these. He was like, no. So they gave me these boots. Aren't they cute? But I'm gonna see if I can find some other socks because they're a little big. Apparently borrowing boots has become a new travel trend for me, if you don't remember from our last video in Vermont. She literally gave me the boots off of her feet. Like, Seriously. Yeah. We're walking towards the presidential heads after Megan got her boots on. They are going to share some facts. So first, you arrive, you get about a two hour window to hang out here on the farm. So it's literally this guy's farm. We'll tell you more about it um, as we learn about it. But we first get here, we go check out the president's heads. And then about 40 minutes later, they actually do a little trivia on the presidents and tell us more about the farm and how everything got here. This is the artist who created these sculptures. It took five years to produce the 42 statues. First president. <laughs> That's really all I know. His wife's name was Martha. Moving on. This is. Who is this fine gentleman? Andrew Jackson. This is Andrew Johnson. Jackson. Jackson. And this is Andrew Jackson. Is he the one that brought spaghetti? I thought you told me that was Thomas Jefferson. 
Ugh, I'm gonna need a notepad. <laughs> okay, this one I can tell you about. Honest Abe. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was born in Kentucky, and that is where Andrew and I met. <laughs> How about that? For a fun fact. Fun president fact. <laughs> Fun presidential fact <laughs> in Hardin County. Isn't that where your dad is from? Nope. <laughs> Sorry about that. He was assassinated by, don't tell me, John Wilkes Booth. Yep. I almost said Lee Harvey Oswald. That's Kennedy. We'll find him. We're going to go through the muck. Are you coming with me? Uh, as much as I can. I feel like I'm filming a nature documentary. <laughs> Because you're in the swamp? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> nope. Okay, so you might be wondering where all these heads came from. I mean, we told you about the artist, but you might wanna know how they even got here in the first place. Well, they were originally beautiful, <laughs> preserved white statues all on pedestals in a park in Williamsburg. And it was an attempt to bring more tourism to Williamsburg. And unfortunately, that plan failed. And so the owner of the park, couldn't bring himself to destroy all these statues. So he just hired a team and moved them all into this field. So each one of these weighs 8,000 to 11,000 pounds. And in order to get them here on the farm, they actually, if you notice on some of them, they have, or actually on all of them, they have their heads, like a hole in the top of their heads. And that's where they actually got the crane to attach onto them and pull them up on the truck and then haul them here. So pretty, it was a pretty insane process to actually get them from their original place to this family farm. Another presidential fun fact. This is Woodrow Wilson and he had a lot of difficulty learning how to read and then worked really hard and is one of the only presidents that has his PhD. It's like suctioning to my feet. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Say. Quick, can you name everyone on Mount Rushmore? Uh, Thomas Jefferson, Teddy Roosevelt, George Washington, and Abraham Lincoln? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Good job. Can you name all 43 presidents? Uh, no, unfortunately not. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Who's your favorite? Teddy Roosevelt. He has the best stories, and oh, yeah. he started the National Park System. And definitely look up his Amazon story. That's Teddy really right cool. there. Yeah. Oh yeah, hey. And finally, how did you like this? Because this was Andrew's activity that he picked. So it was kind of eerie, but also really cool because I love just that a sculptor or artist was inspired by Mount Rushmore. And he was like, all right, this is what I'm going to do at like over 60 years old and started to build up these and took over five years. So it's dedication for sure. So really cool. What do you think? It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Kind of, kind of. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I guess eerie is the best way or sad because they're like deteriorating. <laughs> and it's like someone's beautiful art, but I guess that's what makes it cool as well. That's why you all have to come and see it before it eventually just completely deteriorates. And they have all these fun facts all over. And then we just sat in a trivia session. So that was super cool. Let's learn a whole lot of things about presents that we didn't know. Yeah, 10 out of 10. I recommend so, it. If you're driving through Virginia, 
or you're close to Williamsburg, where there's tons of history, mm -hmm. um, definitely recommend the stop. So at the time of this video, there have been 46 presidents, including Biden. Jump over that. <laughs> and there are 43 heads. So they actually stopped after George W. Bush. So going around, you'll definitely see some familiar faces, but you won't see Biden, Trump, or Obama. The original sculptor or artist is in his 90s now, so unfortunately he's retired from sculpting, so it's really cool to actually be able to see some of his last works. All right, so I said that there were 43 heads. However, there's one more, and let's go show you who I missed. It's baby Obama. I got a ride back. <laughs> She got very muddy. I had to take my boots off to leave them here. <laughs> so you're probably wondering how you get here. Well, we'll drop the link below. Definitely books fast. So if you're planning on coming Saturday or Sunday, definitely go ahead and book. There's a wait list, they said, at the beginning when they opened up again, of 17,000 people. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead, click on the link below if you want to check out their times and available dates. And John, who does the tours, send you this incredible email. We'll put it up on the screen here that tells you everything you need to know about the season, about what's in the area. I mean, it is one of the most like thorough and detailed emails that I've gotten for a tour. So, yep. So, if you like this video, we'd love if you gave us a thumbs up, follow us, subscribe to our channel for more places around the US. Now, let's go find something to eat. Yes. <laughs>